Hi, my name is k This podcast is brought to you by Majuba TVET College and it specifically relates to financial accounting and fire force out of Kent TVET Colleges. In this presentation, I'm going to tackle question 4.2.2 of June 2016 final question paper. This question specifically dealt with incomplete records. Incomplete records are contained in module 4 of the financial accounting and 5 textbook that is used at Majuba TVET College. I'm hoping that at the end of the presentation, students will achieve the following subject outcome. Students will be able to transform incomplete records to a system of double entry, and students will be able to achieve the following learning objective, that is reconstruct creators control account to determine the value of purchase. I'm going to take you to question four, there you go. I'm specifically going to look at question 4.2.2 which specifically relates to creators control account. That's the given information. We specifically told that it relates to BB stores who did not maintain a full records of transactions. However, we we're given certain information that was available at the end of the financial year and 28 February 2015. Let's go to the preparation of a creators control account. That's the T account. The T account, as I always mentioned, has the debit and the credit side. In this case, we're dealing with a T account relating to creators. Creators are what we call a liability. Liabilities uh, increases on the credit side and they decrease on the debit side. If you've got uh, opening balance uh, specifically relating to creators control, it will be taken to the credit side and the closing balance will be taken to the debit side. Let's quickly go see how the informa the given information impacts the preparation of the creator's control account. Those first two transactions are not going to be taken into account at the, as they specifically relate to debtors. Those two transactions that I've highlighted definitely relate to creators and we're going to take them into account in the preparation of creator's control account. The first item is a balance and it's referred to as the opening balance as is presented on February 2014, which is the commencement of our financial year and 28 February 2015. I'm going to take that balance. I'm going to take it to the T account and I'm specifically going to take it to the credit side of the creator's control account. It is referred to as a balance to clearly distinguish between this balance, the, that is the opening balance and the closing balance, the opening balance is referred to as the broad, as BD, BD meaning brought down. The next balance relates to the closing balance as is presented on the 28th of February, 2015, which is our financial year end. I'm going to take the closing balance, I'm going to take it to the credit side I'm going to take it to the debit side of our creator's control account. I'm going to call it balance. And the closing balance is referred to as CD. There you go. Moving along swiftly, we're going to take other transactions. I'm going to take that transaction. That transaction relates to payments, to creators and purchases. Definitely it affects uh, Creators, as it was a payment to creators, I'm going to take it to the debit side as it reduces uh, the balance of creators. Therefore, remember, because this is a liability, any transaction that reduces a uh, liability is taken to the debit side of that liability account. In this case, creditors control. The contra account will be bank, as it was a cash payment of your creditors and purchases. Moving along swiftly, the next transaction relates to payments by debtors. We're not going to take that into account. Returns by debtors relates to debtors. Returns to creditors. This is what we call purchases returns. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it to the debit side. It reduces the balance of creditors control because we the entity is retaining to its uh, suppliers. The, the contra account will be purchases returns. There you go. The next transaction 
relates to um, discount allowed to debtors. We're not going to take it into account as it affects debtors. Discount received from creditors, we're going to take this into account. It reduces the balance of the creditors control account by the discount that is offered by the uh, suppliers or creditors of the business. We're going to the control account is called discount received. There you go, discount received. Now we right at the end, remember we are already given what we call the closing balance, therefore we want to balance the debit side and the credit side. However, we're not going to refer to the balancing figure as the closing balance because the closing balance has already been provided. The purpose of reconstructing the creditors control account was determine what we call purchases. We're going to determine purchases as the balancing figure. How we're going to do it is we're going to balance the debit side and the credit side. So essentially we want that amount to be equal to that amount. At this point in time, the two amounts are not equal. The important principle in determining the balance when using the T account is that you're going to take the greater of the two sides, in this case the debit side, and you're going to deduct whatever you have on the credit side to arrive at the balancing figure so that at the end of the day, that balance is equal to that balance. Let's quickly do it. I'm going to say equals to, I'm going to take that, I'm going to take minus whatever I have on the credit side, that's that. To determine the balancing figure. In this case, the balancing figure, it's not the closing balance because the closing balance was already provided. So I'm going to call this purchases. So we wanted to reconstruct creators control account in order to determine the value of purchases because it was the missing figure. Those two are equal. Just one emphasis. Uh, that balance is the closing balance. Remember, we're going to take it to the balance sheet. It's important that you must transfer it and put it there and call it balance uh, brought down. So essentially, for you to end the principal mark, that figure must always be equal to that figure. Remember to take it and transfer it there all the time when you do a creator's uh, control T account. Okay, thank you. If thank you, if there are any questions, please feel free to post them via my WhatsApp or email address. Thank you.